how are you? I am Stephen Mulhern and this is Tricky TV, the show which likes to make people say... That's yes. crazy. Yes. That's impossible, how'd you do that? And if you would like to be able to do the impossible too, then make sure you stay watching because we will show you how. Coming up, can you guess how to find a coin and beat the cheat? Yes! We show you one of the most famous illusions in the world later. And how would you feel if you just destroyed some prize pottery? We're smashing things up in a wicked wind-up. It's going to be a cracking show, I promise. But now let's start off with a very cool card trick. Now, as I'm sure you know, there are four aces in a pack of cards. And that's what we need for this trick. So there's number two, there's number three, and number four is just there. Now, camera Keith, what I want you to do is take the aces, just there for me, and then place them one by one into four different parts of the pack, any way you like. Okay, there's number one, there's number two, three, four. Good stuff. Okay, definitely in different parts of the pack. Now, to make it even harder for me, I'm going to shuffle them up so they're all nice and mixed. Now, without even looking, I'm going to try and find the aces. Here we go. Ace number one. Good stuff. Hold on to that for me, Keith. Okay, ace number two. Brilliant. Okay, ace number three. Fantastic. And the final one, ace number four. Perfect. So we managed to find all four aces in less than 10 seconds. It's a good trick, isn't it? And do you know what? These people, they liked it too. This trick impresses everyone, and I'll show you the secret later. I am here at a pottery centre where they specialise in making pots of all shapes and sizes. Well, on Tricky TV, as you know, we specialise in wind-ups of all shapes and sizes, so we make the perfect combination. Now, very soon, pupils will be arriving to take part in what they think is a day with clay competition. And this is David. How are you, David? I'm fine, thank you. Good to see you. He's going to show the pupils how to make a simple pot. But, of course, when they try it, it'll be anything but simple. Here's our first group of victims. I am posing as David's assistant from Down Under. If you've ever had a go at a potter's wheel, it's really difficult, and even worse, when it's been rigged to go at 60 miles per hour. He squashed the clay down to nothing. It's impossible. Look at this guy's arm vibrating. He's trying to slow the wheel down with the pedal. That's because we rigged it. You've got the giggles. These girls are actually doing quite go. well until I tell them to add some water. There you go. Oh! <laughs> Pour a bit more water on it. Talking of water, we've rigged it so water shoots up out of the plug hole. <laughs> we just need this guy to lean forward. Just a little bit more. Just a little bit, a bit closer. Come on. Come on. Bullseye! <laughs> Direct in a long skater boy's hair. This is going to be even funnier. We've asked all of our victims to go and wash their hands before the next task. While they're out of the way, David and I swap their bowls for old, dry and crumbly ones. The next task is to crimp the edges. Now, this fella tries to pinch the rim of his bowl, but because it's dry, it breaks. Rather than tell Dave or me, he just holds it for ages in the hope that he doesn't get told off. Look at his hands holding the pot together. He's using mind power in the hope that magic will put it back together again. You've already said that, mate. 
Don't scrape that off. Just give it a good old tug. Oh! Oh! <laughs> no, no. See now, that could be, you know what that could be? That could be like a scooper. You could, you could scoop the, a pooper scooper. <laughs> Entries. Finally, our victims had to place their competition entries on the display shelf. Good. Just squeeze it on. Just squeeze it on. That's it. <laughs> Look at that cheeky fellow on the left. He walks off and lets his mate face the music. <laughs> oh my good god. <laughs> Oh no. Look at the girl on the left. She's so shocked her hands got stuck to her teeth. <laughs> Just be careful of everybody else's uh, stuff. On the side, mate, where the gap is. That's good. That was me. Oh mate, what have you done? I didn't do anything, Tina. I didn't do anything. I swear on my life I didn't Come do anything. Come over, let's have a look at what's happened to you. <laughs> I didn't do anything. I didn't do nothing. I didn't do anything, I swear. Did you tell him to do that, mate, to ruin everybody else's work? And then, oh, and then no we're left with your one. Oh, no, I don't know what this is. Clever work. <laughs> oh, let, let's break everybody else's one, but this one will win. It's truth, mate, that's, that's wrong. Here's some more potty calamities from the day. Time to reveal myself. Just face the television camera that's in behind that mirror because you two are on oh, Tricky TV. Yeah. Oh my god! <laughs> <laughs> Girls, yeah, I know, yeah, I shouldn't have worried you. You're fine. <laughs> <laughs> Stephen Mullen. <laughs> 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 Would you like to see something amazing? Well, with magic, you can make things float, appear, disappear. You ready, Keith? And if you want to find out how I managed to disappear, keep watching, because the secret is on its way. And that's not all. Can you guess how to beat the cheat? Yeah. Middle cup. Yes. It's one of the most famous oh, illusions in the world, and you'll be amazed yes. when you see the missing middle trick. And I'm going to show you how to do a neat trick with a pack of cards so you can impress your friends. Just a moment ago, you saw me stand right in front of you and then I vanished. So where did I go? Keith, do you want to come down here? Here I am. Why don't you take a look at the trick from the side and you'll see exactly what happened whilst I take it easy. In front of me is a sheer drop and a crash mat, but the camera is raised to the same level as me, so you can't see the drop. Keith holds his thumb up, I dive down and vanish. So that's how we did it. I wonder if it works the other way around. You ready, Keith? Sorry, Keith. Trick TV! If you see someone offering you a chance to win some money, don't even think about having a go. They could well be cheating. But of course, if you know their tricky secrets, then you can beat the cheat. Can the punters at Greenwich Market beat the cheat? OK, we've got one, two, three cups, and we have one coin. OK, now I'm going to place the middle cup over the coin. You always know that the coin is inside the middle cup. It's not underneath this cup or this cup. It's inside this cup here. Now, what I would like, um, what's your name? Zach. Zach, good to see you, Zach. What I need to do is just move the cups around, okay? Thus moving the coin as well. But make sure you only do it when my back is turned. And I'm gonna try and work out where the coin is. Okay, I'll turn around now. Mix up the coins now. Tell me when you're happy. Okay. 
You happy? Okay, so you mix up the coin. I don't know where it is. Okay. I would say... It's under this cup. Yeah. Hey, yeah. yeah. Right, we'll try it again. Okay, the coin at this moment is on the middle one. What's your name? Ben. Good to see you, Ben. Okay, Ben, I'll turn my back. You mix up the cups. I'll try and find out which cup has the coin in. Off you go. Shout yes once you've done it, Ben. Yes. Yes, okay, fine. <laughs> ben, the coin is under. This cup. Yes. Right. Now, now I'll tell you what we do. Let's show who else thinks they can do this. Who else thinks they can try and catch me out? A few of you. Okay. Well, let's go for you. Okay. Uh, what's your name? Joshua. Joshua. Okay, Joshua. Mix up the cups. I'll turn my back. That's it. Mix up the cups, Joshua. And just shout yes once you've done it. And I'll try and find which cup has the coin in. Yes. This cup. Yeah. So, you know, these people are never, ever, ever going to understand why he can find a coin. That's because he is just a cheat. What you can't see is what is attached to the coin, but all will be revealed if I lift it up. You see? It's a hair from my head. Now, the hair sticks out the back of the cup, and when the cheat sees the hair, he knows exactly where the coin is. So now you know the secret, you know what you can do. You can beat the cheat. On, you saw me become a card shark when I made four aces appear from a pack of cards without even looking, and it drove people crazy. There's ace number one. There's ace number two. There's ace number three. Finally, hopefully, there's ace. Oh, nice. It's great, isn't it? So, how is it possible to find four aces that have been placed in different parts of a pack of cards whilst holding them behind your back? Well, that's where the secret lies, behind my back. Come and have a look. You see here, I've got four extra aces that have been taken from another pack of cards. Now, they're held in place with a safety pin and a paper clip. It's linked like that. And then what you do is you ask a friend to pin it in place and then you're ready to go. So let's start from the beginning of the trick, okay? So you get someone who you're gonna do the trick on and you say to them, okay, take the aces and place them in four different parts of the pack and they can place them anywhere they like. And once they've done that, you can see, they're all in different parts. You ask them to shuffle up the cards. Now remember, the great thing is, they can shuffle as much as they like. It doesn't matter, but don't tell them that. So they shuffle away and when they stop, you go, okay, I'm now going to try and find the four aces. And what you do, I'll turn around so you can see it, you put the cards behind your back and you just put your hand up your jacket and you pull out one of the aces. And then you go, okay, I think I've got one. I think I've got one. Yes, I have. And you give them that ace. And then you go, okay, 
I'm gonna try again. Now you can act a bit, okay? Because you know how easy it is. You go, ooh, 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 tr tricky? Tr tr this is, oh, hang on. I think I've got one though. I think I've got one. And you bring it out. And they'll be amazed. And you just keep going, okay? So then you take out the next one. You go, yeah, I think I've got another one. Yep, definitely got another one. And the final one, oh, this is the hardest one. Yes, there you go. So it's as simple as that. It's such a cool trick. It's well worth trying out, okay? And here's a few tricky tips for you. First of all, this is really important. Make sure the four extra aces come from the same make of card as you are using. Otherwise, the backs will change color. And of course, that is rubbish. The other thing you want to do is make it look really hard that you're trying to find the aces by touch because it makes the trick look more convincing. And finally, make sure your jacket or shirt covers the safety pin because that way no one will see how the trick actually does work. Well, there you go. You now know how to do it. So try it out on your friends. And you are now part of the secret circle. Trick I'll do a bit of gymnastics in my spare time. Yeah, do you want to see some? Okay, here we go. You ready? Oh! <laughs> Maybe not. I'm here at the Meepa Gymnastics Club, and this is their team just here. Hello, all, you all right? Hi. Hi. Uh, now, listen, I know that you're very famous for wearing your red leotards. Even your trainer wears red. So, who are you? I'm their gym coach. Oh, really? Okay, so how come you're not in the red, though? Well, I'm new, so at my old gym, we used to wear blue. Do you know, I actually knew this. That's why, you ready? I brought along this so you don't stand out, okay? And to help you get into it, we're gonna use today's big trick. But are you up for it? Okay. Cool, okay, walk this way. <laughs> now, to help me with this big trick, I've got this special set of lockers just here and you'll see what they will do in just a moment. But I also want a team here of gymnasts, if you wanna come in, I want you to see what everybody at home is going to see as well. Tina, you come over this side as well. Now, of course, we all know that you put clothes inside lockers, but today I'm going to put the coach, Tina. Yeah, <laughs> come with me. Don't look so worried, you'll be fine. Here you go. Just open this up. And this bit here. Here you go, Tina, if you'd like to just step in. Right, now, these bits here will keep your legs in place. Are you right there? Good, okay. You look so nervous, you'll be fine. All right, there you are. Now this bit here will keep your head in place. Perfect. Right, now let's close this all up like this. There we go. And I think we're nearly ready to begin. One more thing. Tina, I want you to relax, close your eyes for me and just let your mind go blank. Okay, that was quick, good stuff. Close this up. Now. Before I do anything, I want you to know, obviously never get inside lockers or lock yourself into any sort of comedy thing, because that'd just be stupid. Also, have a look around here, you can see there's nothing to hide around here or nothing to hide in the front. Here's what I'm gonna try and do. I'm gonna try and remove Tina's head from her body. That way I can swap the blue top for the red. Here we go, solid play. Straight the way through. Will it work? Seems to be going through, a bit tough, but here we go. Yes, come out the other side. Perfect, that's our head done. Now for the legs. Here we are, just place this through here. And that way, it'll be a lot easier to get the blue top off, you see. Are you right in there, Tina? Yeah, you'll be all right. Let's go with it, there we are. Right, that seems good. Let's see if she's managed to take off her top. Has it? Oh no. Oh no. I think I've gone a bit too far, look. There's the blue top. There's her legs. Oh no. She really has gone. Look, nobody at all. Is her head still there? Yeah. But this is ridiculous. I know you can lose weight at a gym, but look, there's nothing of her. Place is back. And let's get the red top, because of course, if she can put this on, she won't stand out anymore. There you are, pop that on. Sorry, Tina, to close that. There you go, nice and gently. There we go. And close this side as well. So, the blue top and her body is gone. And fingers crossed, she will manage 
to go from blue to new. There's the first blade again, still solid. And now let's take this one out as well. I hope for your sake this has worked, otherwise you're gonna have a new coach. See, has it worked? Please. Oh, there's the red top, looking good. There's her legs. Now let's just get her to, can you open your eyes for us? Hey, it has worked. There you go, come out here. Let's hear for Tina. Nicely done. Next time, I'm going to place this ball into this tube and then make it vanish. Then I'm going to show you how I did it. We go to the beach to perform the world famous Indian rope trick. Let's hear for Ben! And these guys meet some crazy pensioners in another wicked wind up. It is going to be a top show, but now let's take a look at some of the things that didn't quite go according to plan. All right, then, guys, you can let me out now. You had a joke over, yeah? Let me out of the box. It's my serious voice. Hello! Right, can we do that again? Because I look ridiculous, eh? Perfect! Oh! Oh! Hello, children. <laughs> You're not looking even more ridiculous. Tracking. 